How's it going everyone? My name is Tyler, I'm with Party Lake Boatworks. Okay, so behind me we have the brand new deck board put in here. So the deck hatches were kind of like heavily modified over the years. I got one of them right in front of me. Kind of, they put like kind of like house insulation on the inside. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's not the way I would have built this. This wasn't done originally by Chris Craft. Uh, there's a lot of like weird kind of a lot of things I don't like in this. So yours truly, Tyler at Clarity Lake Boatworks, I rebuilt this. So these this boat is built with a little dirty secret in it. This boat has a small block V8, twins to be exact. Not original in the 1947, 48, when this boat was built, um, it had Hercules. So probably had some nice KLs or just K series Hercules motors in it. The new owner right now, he's keeping the V8s in it. You know what? You can thank Michael J. Fox for going back in time and giving V8s to the motors to put in this boat. Anyways, so looking underneath, we reinforced it all. The framing's all been done, all stainless steel screws. My friend Tom, Definitely loves bra uh, like brass or bronze silica, but uh, up here in communist land in Canada, we love our Robinson. So it's hard to actually find that in Robinson. I have some, it's in like special order brass. So um, I will uh, post some stuff that I use for suppliers for the brass stuff. Anyways, why did I have to redo these? Well, they were rotten. Why do I have to do these? Because these have small block V8s. You know what happens? The carburetor, when it's mounted on the motor, actually sits too high for the floors. So instead of me screwing with the door, with the floor level, the step rail, the windows, making everything kind of like even more, like kind of not copacetic, I was like, let's do it right. Let's make it look pretty decent. Let's, even though the boat's heavily modified with these crazy 283 small blocks in it and it's gonna just whip on the lake. Let's do it right. So, I rebuilt this frame. I put the mahogany on it. I built this unique box. It's all reinforced mahogany with, uh, I put like a, just like a spruce on the inside just to hold it together. It's super sturdy. You could jump up and down on it. Um, this box will go like this, like that. So, this, because I put so much time and tension into rebuilding the framing, I noticed on the way that that previous one was built, there was a lot of sagging, a lot of flexing. So it was actually cracking the floors. Not today! Anyways, it's done. So it's fixed. I got this nice cover on it. Uh, it's going to look pretty, pretty sweet on the water. We have the carburetors gone out to get redone on this motor. And the other carburetor is going to go, the owner is actually sourcing out some, maybe an EFI system or something different to put on top, but we needed to figure out this carburetor intake. Anyways, other than that, it's been a wild week. I took the cover off of the jitterbug, it's outside now. The, my big boat, my 1951 34 foot double half cabin flybridge, Perseverance. Took the cover off today and my OCD buzzers were going off. It was dirty. There was some paint that I didn't like. The average person would be like, oh, this looks, this looks fantastic. Like, you should just relax. There's never a day of relaxing with a wood boat. I live and breathe sawdust. I'm not going to get cancer any other way. I have to keep on working at sanding the boats and varnishing. My biggest pet peeve that I have with like my boat world is, I grew up in Southern Ontario. I grew up on the Holland River. We always had covered wells for our boats to stay in. Well, guess what? We don't have that here in Manitoba. But, yours truly, Tyler Corner Lake Boatworks, talking in third person here. I'm looking at getting one of these. This is 
They call it Minnetonka style boathouse. I have this big dock system. Maybe there's a way that I can put this on my leg. I feel like it's gonna be like a contagion. It's gonna be like the COVID of the boat world. Everyone's gonna see it on my leg and they're gonna be like, oh my God, that's like a guy who has style and class and shows up with a bottle of wine for your wife. Makes you look bad because I got a boathouse on a lake where no one has boathouses. Anyways, that's kind of in the plan. You know what? Like I've been a little bit distracted lately. Weather got good. I was ripping some motocross bikes. I was doing a lot of stuff at work. And uh, now it's time to get back to business. You know, the lady sees she's, she ain't gonna fix herself. So anyways, um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We got some new merch coming out. If you have any questions on things you want to cover in the future, let me know. Products we used on this, just so everyone knows, to this point right now, we use a marine based glue. We use uh, Sika Flex. My plan is we're going to finish the rest of this deck. There's going to be some fur. It's going to be spliced in here because this ain't teak. This is just fur. We're gonna fix this fur. We're going to probably, I don't know if we're gonna varnish it, but if I do, it's gonna be Epiphane or it's gonna be Interlux Original. And, uh, or I was thinking about doing uh, the, uh, there was like a, there was a teak oiling deck system. Um, I'm gonna include it on the, uh, the end of the video. Um, I can't just remember the product right now but it's a really common marine teak oil. We're debating if we're gonna do that because it will all like, it will, it will do well. Now, this boat is a pretty rare boat now, I think, from this time, you know what I mean? There's not too many of them left. So we have to do it right, you know what I mean? Like I said, don't make shit shortcuts and stuff like that. But there's certain things you just have to change because Times are changing, right? So, anyways, my name is Tyler. I'm at Colonial Lake Boatworks. If you have any questions, post it on the Instagram, post it on the YouTube. Like, share, subscribe, buy my merch. I know it's painful, you want it. Everyone wants a sports suite, like ball cap, put a flex fit, some cool t-shirts and stuff like that. Everything I have has covered in dust. I go home, I deal with my domestic sergeant major. She freaks out she's like why don't you leave early at the boat shop uh, whatever also probably one of the best pair of footwear when you're doing this kind of work is crocs i love crocs i could go a uh, whole episode on talking about pros and cons to crocs crocs in the day that uh, i lost my best pair of crocs on the lake anyways my name is tyler i'm with Connie lake Boatworks. like share subscribe follow us on instagram and youtube have a good one